Nathaniel, how are you, man? Yeah, man, good to see you. <laughs> Big up. Yes, <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm at the High Commission here, and I at this Bridge Jam. Bridge Jam, ten years. That's ten years. Yeah. But also, I'm I'm with Nathaniel Pete, and Nathaniel Pete recently um, was appointed or, or voted in as a key position in the Jamaican community here in the UK. Now, Nathaniel, explain to us what is this position, what it's about. So, so basically, what this is, um, yeah. the government of Jamaica uh, recently. Um, was looking at realigning the diaspora, the global diaspora, to try to reach beyond the United States, beyond Canada, and also the United Kingdom. Yes. As such, what they've done is, um, assisted by the uh, Jamaica Advisory Board, which is now disbanded, disbanded, have formed the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council. Yes. Now, this is a council representative of many people around the world in fact you know yeah. from the asian division from africa from mm. the south americas um right away around the globe um and um i have been elected as the global jamaica diaspora yeah. council representative for the southern region of the united kingdom and the southern region is where is that that's london that's covering that's covering from sort of luton right the way down right, right the way down right. um right. and and what what the focus of the council is to is to mobilize members of the diaspora to go yeah. deeper in mm. is to connect with those who are not oftentimes connected to the diaspora yeah. it is to look at ways in which we can encourage more investment directly into the island yes. it's to spread the information more widely into the diaspora community from a lot of a lot of people mm. wouldn't even recognize that the the, the the jamaican stock exchange for example is one of the best stock exchanges performing in the world at, at the moment, moment. It's the number one isn't it that's right yeah. and um you know so there's viable opportunities for investment. There's opportunities for the investment in land, um, philanthropic work, um, social impact investment. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, looking at ways in which you can reduce the cost of your children's studies, yes. um, where you can actually go and do an MBA, let's say, in the University of West Indies in Jamaica, which will slice the ch and chop the fees right the way in half, yeah, yeah. Um, in, in comparison to what they pay in the United Kingdom. Right, yes. um, it's to look at other issues around visas, around um, deportation, issues around yeah, wind rush factors, uh, wind, wind rush, uh, factors um, you know talking about moving back home and looking at returning residents um, looking at crime and violence and yeah. how you can actually impact that. looking at the sustainable development of Jamaica um, what it really is about is to try to um, align the diaspora with the uh, vision 2030 goals of Jamaica which mm. is in the next 10 years we are hoping that Jamaica can become a developed country yes. meaning that we'll have good roads good infrastructure yes. um, affordable power yes. um, you know access to education uh, good education resources mm. um, and and really this is what the the council's about is to try to mobilize people and yes. to to get them interested back in the island and you know connect with the second third and fourth and generation you, you touched the point right there that's what i was going to come in third and fourth generation because as we recognize the people from the windrush period they all pass you know, that's and right. you're all leaving and going back to jamaica that's right so therefore jamaica has developed and built a lot on the remittance that's right it goes back that's right so therefore by virtue of them not here not giving back there's going to be a ditch. gdp so, that's right so therefore we're trying to Get balls to that. Get balls to the third of That's the generation. Right. Yeah. Precisely that. I mean, you know, um, the Jamaican diaspora contributes to about two, two and a half billion US dollars into the Jamaican economy. Um, yes. And as you rightly said, as people are not returning back home, yes. people are dying in the diaspora regions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there is a global yeah. diaspora now where you yes. have people living in. Um, G20 countries yes. that are wider than the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada. Yes. There's other regions now where we can bolster mm. the power of that diaspora. Mm. Um, and the key thing is engagement. Yes. Um, so we're even talking about another area, which is tourism. Yes. Um, there is cultural tourism that can you, you can actually do now in Jamaica. Yes. And as you begin to um, look at other ways of 
um, money coming into the island. This is where the GDP, hopefully, and remittances, and that gap in remittances as the result of the declination of that age population yes. um, that originally moved out of Jamaica into the diaspora region um, goes down to the next generation. When you're speaking about um, those who are under 50 years old, yes. and then when you're talking about those who are under 30 years old, and you're talking about the future leaders, those who are now at universities, those are postgraduates, those in academia, mm -hmm finding ways in which we can connect them back to their heritage, not only from the, the, the financial side of, um, of their pound and their dollar going back into Jamaica, mm -hmm. but it also in their skills and expertise. Mm -hmm. So as to find ways whereby people that are experts in particular fields can actually go and contribute directly to Jamaica, mm -hmm. where they're investing now in their time and their resources, perhaps in some level of um, consultation yes. or perhaps in some level of mentorship or guidance of businesses. What are you capitalizing on the Sources which we have here as well. Precisely that. And so this is what the, the whole um, system essence. is about and the whole essence of the global Jamaica diaspora. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, am going to be um, really um, implementing the strategy I have for the South very soon. So I'm going to be engaging with a lot of people that um, are active in the media around mm -hmm. the Jamaican community, including yourself, so yeah. I'm going to be holding a community meeting at the Jamaica High Commission for diaspora heads and anyone yes. that's interested in finding out ab about that. Yes. And, uh, and, and also releasing a, a letter out to diaspora leaders existing diaspora, yes. diaspora bodies and also other interest, interested parties. Right. Part of this is also brand Jamaica. So yes. it's about creating good brand yes. about Jamaica. Right. That may mean somebody who's interested in investing in Jamaica, but not, not necessarily yeah. Jamaica. And it's creating that opportunity, it's creating that yeah. chance for them to actually contribute. It, it is interesting what you said there about the good brand and the good aspects of Jamaica. Because of recent days when we heard about the Windrush bit and the recent uh, plane going back, there was the perception being given that going back to Jamaica is a terrible place to go back to. And I believe this is really good, whereby we're showing that Jamaica is not this terrible place. It's not at all. Which is, with, of no, course, we've got It's issues. not at all. Of yes, course, we've got issues, as, yeah. as with any other country. Yeah, yes, yes. But I mean, you know, mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're looking at crime and violence, um, yeah. that is located to particular regions. regions yes. And normally that is actually crime and violence towards other gang members or other yes. people involved in crime. Yes. Very rarely does it actually impact the local people that yes. are actually there. Occasionally you hear the big story of that person has gone back and they've been yeah. probably not as sensible as they could have been. Yeah. Like in the same way you go into an area in the United Kingdom and if you're flashing certain types of clothes, yeah. flashing certain types of not items, wise. you're not wise, you know, so in what you're doing. So, so therefore, as they'll say, something or something will stand. True, <laughs> that's it. Those in Jamaica will understand that something or something means to say there's a, a reaction to a reaction. Or that's right. Keep back effect of that's right. So there has to be a level of diligence. Yeah. And yeah. Um, again, um, if you're associated with chickens, you never fly with eagles. Yeah. Again, yeah. so there's a there's a level of, of individuals that you can connect yeah. to in Jamaica. Yeah. There's a professional network. Yeah. So tell me, how can, how can people then connect with the team or connect with yourself? Is there a particular contact? Absolutely. Um, people can reach out to me um, yeah. via, at the moment, um, they can reach out to me on my Hotmail address, yes. which is nat underscore Pete at hotmail.com, which okay. is a P-E-A-T. Yeah. Yes. Um, you can connect with me. Um, I also serve as a role as the chairman of Jamaicans Inspired. Yes. And if you fill out the online form there, then you will also then connect to connect me. To you, Jamaican, with, Inspired, Jamaican yeah. Inspired. And that will yeah. come back to me. I'm on all social media platforms. Yes. So I'm LinkedIn to Twitter, Facebook, yeah. to yes. Twitter, uh, to Snapchat. Instagram, to the, not on Snapchat. <laughs> but but I, I, I'm, I'm available yes. to connect with you. Yes. The whole purpose is to connect. Yes. So if you, if you have a problem, a lot of people have been reaching out to me around, um, you know, voting rights and stuff like this. Again, we will be your voice to yes. the ministry in Jamaica. Right. Again, it's to find out what you yes. want. It's to find out what, what you desire. Yeah. How and, do you want to connect? And, and the voting rights issue has been something over years. That's right. Over years. And um, I believe eventually there must be some impasse eventually whereby it can be... Re and that's a mandate for you as well. Absolutely. So therefore, we can actually get to deal with this because I've been involved with this from 2004 went to all these different conferences That's right. and it's always been on the table. But sometimes you start off something, so maybe you need to take it to the next level. Well, I mean, you know, that's, that's the purpose of the Global yes, Jamaica yes, Diaspora Council. Yes. Again, it's an advisory yes. um, council to the minister. 
minister directly responsible for. Who is the minister um, now directly responsible? The, the minister is actually um, no. Minister Kamina Johnson Smith. Okay, okay. She is the, the minister, minister for foreign, uh, foreign affairs yes. and foreign trade. There was a junior um, before. Uh, the there was a there was a there was a, there was a junior up. minister then. Right. Um, right. However, um, the, the portfolio of the diaspora affairs right. is uh, the director is actually Mr. Lincoln Downer. Oh, Lincoln um, Downer. That sits in the uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. Uh, he used to actually be here. Yeah, and he, in yeah. fact, uh, Mr. Downer has enormous experience of diaspora relations of course, activities of course, as he's, yes. he's moved around in terms of the different yes. areas around the, of the yes. major diaspora regions. Yes, yes. So, you know, this is the time for connection. Yes. Um, you can go to the website, um, which is the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council website. You can Google it. Um, I'm available online. Um, I'm willing to connect to the diaspora. Um, I was waiting for the official announcement from um, the, the, go the government of Jamaica yes. around this uh, yes. before we start to do the, do the engagement. Stuff, yes. But this March coming, there's going to be a lot of activity. Um, you're going to start hearing things. Um, we're going to move through the mission to actually send out to yes. some communities, others. Um, please invite me onto your radio stations, right. community radio stations. Um, you know, if, if you have a, a, a local channel that, that is appealing to mm. the diaspora community, I'm willing to do that. If you do online media, YouTube, yes. whatever way. So therefore, Silver and TV has pull a fast one, pull a cool. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> but well, you know that silver is a man with this thing. You know that, right? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, well, thank you so much for that, Natalie. No, big up. It's, it's, and, it's good. And uh, we'll keep following on everything. And I believe there's going to be a lot of discussions as well regarding the deportation issues. That's right. Sort of there's serious, I mean, there's serious yeah. issues as well, yeah. silver. And I mean, when you're, when you're speaking about our young men that are in prison, yeah. when you're speaking about. Yeah, because you do a lot of work. That's right. Yeah. You know, when you're speaking about the youth mm. of the diaspora. In a British system, and this conversation has been happening since the 1950s yes. around the education. And we know that Jamaicans that are in the schools, yes. oftentimes the, the wide discussion, mm. statistically, we are not doing as best as we could do. Right. Now, again, it's to lean pressure here as well, yes. to yes. represent the diaspora here yes. as well, for the benefit of our young people. Right. And um, there's gonna be other things we're doing. We've got connection trips that we're planning out to Jamaica as well, whereby people can connect directly with culture and heritage. Yes. Um, a lot of people would like to do philanthropic work in Jamaica, mm -hmm. charitable work, they don't know how. This is the mechanism of how we want to help you to do that. Fantastic. Good work, good stuff, good stuff. And ladies and gentlemen, follow this on Silver and TV and more with Nathan and Pete, and I will put out all the different details and the contact as well. Awesome, blessings. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with Nathaniel Pete, and Nathaniel Pete has recently been appointed as the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council rep for the Southern England Division, the Southern Region of the United Kingdom. Fantastic, and you can connect him at these different contact details. So on Twitter, at Nathaniel Pete, that's P-E-A-T. Connect with me on Facebook, Nathaniel Pete, P-E-A-T. Connect with me on Twitter, at Nathaniel Pete. On LinkedIn, Nathaniel Pete. Yes. <laughs> and um, you can also find me um, via email at nat, N-A-T underscore Pete, P-E-A-T, at hotmail.com. Uh, I'm available to, to speak and, um, and to try to mobilize you and get you involved in investment, um, philanthropic giving, and to support your needs as a Jamaican living Indeed. in the United Kingdom. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. So check it out as we we'll take it to the next level, supporting Jamaicans in the diaspora. Thank you, Dr. Thank you.